So recall that for the first six months, we use T1, and more than that, um, we use T2. Developing myelin would show T1 changes first, and T2 comes later, therefore we use T1 for the first six months. Another rule we have to remember is that the progression of myelination goes from posterior to anterior, bring, bringing us to the myelination milestones. So let's talk about the corpus callosum. Recall that at birth, uh, the corpus callosum is not one of the areas which is already myelinated. So the T1 changes in the corpus callosum would come, um, would happen in the posterior region first. So in the splenium, we see hyperintense signal in T1 at 4 months. Then the T2 changes would come later at 6 months. Okay? So, um, later, we have T1 changes on the anterior portion, which is the genu, at 6 months. And then, the T2 changes would come later at 8 months. So, this progression um, agrees with these concepts. T1 changes first, here. T2 later, and then going from the posterior to anterior um, progression. So if we just remember these key concepts and we remember the four months uh, milestone for the splenium, we can make an educated, um, educated guess on which area would be having the T1 and T2 changes next. So let's take an example. So this one is a T1 weighted image. Could this be a newborn? Well, we see hyperintensity on the corpus callosum, so this must be an older child. So at least four months old since there is hyperintensity here. But when you check the T2, there's already high intense on the same area. So this must be a child who is 6 months of age. Now what about for the internal capsule? So this is the internal capsule. We have to remember two numbers, 3 and 11. At birth, remember that, uh, recall that the Posterior limus has already a T1 hyper intense signal. And then from our rule, the T1 changes are seen first T2 later. So the T2 changes comes later at 3 months. At the same time, at 3 months, you would also have T1 hyper intense changes on the anterior limb. Also in keeping with the posterior to anterior rule. Um, the T2 changes in the anterior limb would come at 11 months, which corresponds to the time when the baby is already starting to cruise and walk. Um, let's take an example. T1 weighted image. We have hyper intense signal in the splenium and in the anterior portion of the corpus callosum. And then this area in the corpus callosum as well as in the posterior and anterior limb all have hypo-intense signal on the T2 weighted image. So we already reached this one at least 8 months and not about for the internal capsule at least 11 months and in addition we try to look at the subcortical new fibers it's already myelinated here so, if we recall, our landmarks is the near adult T1 by 8 months, near adult T2 by 18 months. So, sure enough, this patient is 24 months of age.